we're going to start talking about logic gates and um, we get to start putting these together in digital circuits to um, implement functions and to um, do arithmetic and basically solve problems in hardware. So um, the most basic gate that I wanted to introduce to you first is called the inverter or the NOT gate. NOT gate. Okay, so the definition, um, and you guys know this from when we learned ones and twos complement for um, representing negative numbers, um, is if the value of A is zero, then A naught is one. Okay, so um, this nodding function is implement implemented by the NOT gate. Um, and as far as notation, you might see that a little tick right there for A naught, or sometimes you'll see a bar on top, sometimes you'll see um, an exclamation point, and sometimes you'll see it in function notation like this, not A. Um, the schematic symbol for the inverter looks like this. It's a triangle and then there's this little bubble on the end. Okay, so if you imagine, if as we read this from left to right, if we have some input come here um, into the left side of the gate, then the output that comes back is that input negated. Okay, so the converse of this statement here in our definition is that if, um, if we have a, a one coming here in here, then the output will be a zero. If we have a, a zero coming in here, then our output will be one. So whatever it is, it's just going to um, invert, just like um, we talked about when we did ones and twos complement. So um, this symbol, the key thing here is this little bubble thing. Um, let me just show you. We'll also talk about inverters. Um, sorry, buffers. So a buffer is basically the same thing as an inverter, but it doesn't have the um, the bubble. So here, if we have A coming in, we just have plain A coming coming out. Okay, so here's the contrast. The inverter has this little bubble, and um, that indicates that we're actually going to be flipping the input bit. Okay, so um, we can make the truth table for this. It's very basic, but um, it's a good way to introduce how we make truth tables. Um, so a truth table is just a table constructed with all the possible inputs and their corresponding outputs. Okay. So for the inverter, the truth table looks like this. We're going to have um, just one input, so I'll call it input A. And then we'll have output will be a naught. So I'll put a bar just to um, diversify the notation. So if our input is zero, the output will be one. If the input is one, the output will be zero. And that's the most basic truth table. So since we only have one input, we only need to put all the possibilities that could be coming in on this input. And that's just zero and one. Now, um, we, we want to kind of change our visualization of the, the concept of um, inverting something. So if you imagine that um, before we have some kind of an input function, right? So an inverting function would be like the not function. Um, it takes an input A and what comes out of it is this output A not. So to implement these, um, the inputs for A in hardware, what we're doing is we are actually applying a high or low voltage on the input line here, okay? So a high voltage might be something like five volts, 
5 volts is going to correspond to a logical one, right, or a binary one. Um, a low input of 0 volts is going to correspond to a logical 0. And then um, the output, we're going to get either 0 volts or 5 volts, and this is going to be a logical 0, and this will be a logical 1. Okay, so um, we're actually, if we were to connect a voltmeter, we'd, we would read an electric potential on this line. And um, in digital circuitry, it's just basically on or it's off. So if it's on, that corresponds to a 1. If it's off, it corresponds to a 0. So um, when we're making these hardware circuits using these gates, just keep in mind that these can be measured as actual um, voltages. But this is the reason why um, you can see it's important that we learn binary arithmetic first and how to um, represent information in binary because all of our inputs and outputs will be in binary just with zeros and ones. Um, so that's the first gate, the inverter. Um, we're we're going to be using inverter quite a bit, um, and so kind of get comfortable with seeing it. It's the most basic gate. It's also one of the fastest gates, and um, I'll show you later on how we can integrate that into larger digital circuits.